Let's get some cinematics. Oh, it's hilarious. Oh. Uh. What's up guys, the Tech Spy here, and oh boy, do I have a very, very exciting video for you guys today. As you know, we keep it lit up here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get themes on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch on iOS 14. I'm going to be doing this on a new iPhone 12, but again, any device works, and this part is big and crucial. This is the fastest method, okay? This method is super quick. Basically, you can just get a bunch of icons with one click, okay? You don't have to set up each icon individually. They do have themes set up, so you can just go and download a theme of your choice, and boom, you'll have all the icons, and they do work. So this is super cool if you're like me and do not want to spend a lot of time making themes just by customizing each and every app icon individually. You can just download a whole theme with one click, okay? Well, two clicks, kind of. But anyways, what you want to do is open up your internet browser. Click on the link that'll be down below in the description. I'll bring it right here. Let me go to lower my brightness a little bit. But anyways, this is for Aesthetica. This is by a very talented developer named Leon. But anyways, you guys can see with the Aesthetica theme engine, you can finally customize and personalize your iPhone the way you want it. Choose from many different themes offered on Aesthetica to make your device feel your own for free. So anyways, there's the install button right there. Even on the website, he put in work. You guys can see there's a dark mode on the website. And has like a little animation too so he put in a lot of work made with performance in mind these apps will perform pre-made themes packages i devices running on ios 14 and don't worry this is also perfectly safe i just tested this on my main device and it works perfectly fine this developer is also very talented and trusted let's go let's go and jump right in so i'm gonna tap right here to install it and this is the beta right now anyways we can install this right here which is a classic design there's also a night version and it's also custom i'm just gonna go with the classic version over here so i'm just gonna tap right there hit allow and it's like profile download, hit close, X out of here, and then open up your settings application. Just like that, we want to head over to general, scroll all the way down until you find profiles and device management. If this does not pop up, go ahead and wait over here for like 10 seconds and boom, it should automatically appear. Anyways, go ahead and tap on profile. There it is. And now all you got to do is install this and we are basically good to go. All right. So let's tap on install, install again right there and tap on done on the top right. X out of here. And now there is Aesthetica. Oh my god, guys. I am so pumped for this. Again, this is the fastest way to theme your device and to get all the icons and the themes. So go to tap on Take Me to Aesthetica. And there we are. So right off the bat, we do have a bunch of free themes that you guys can go and use and try out. So you can also go and browse other themes right there. But anyways, there are some paid themes too, which you do need the pro version for. But most of the themes are actually free, which is amazing. So anyways, I'm going to tap on the modern 6SE one. I was talking about how I want an iOS 6, 6, little, 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 iOS 6 theme on my iPhone. And then it will make it perfect. I just can't wait. So that's what we're doing. All right. So we're just going to go tap on this theme. Download it install just like that's downloaded theme now wait over here be a little patient okay it's downloading the background and you'll get this pop up right over here anyways tap on allow exit out of actually profile download okay then hit close now exit out of here okay now it's going to open up our settings application oh, by the way i'm going to go ahead and move these apps in a little bit actually i'm going to move it right now so this is driving me nuts i just imported from my old iphone and it just put the app layout like this that's not how i had it set up anyways I'm just going to move these so you guys can see the new icons once we install them. <laughs> Boom. Oh, I probably need to create a new folder because this can't handle. Okay, I think we're good now. Let's go ahead and move this over here. I should probably put these in my app library. Okay, and I got everything sorted out now. So now, our device is looking a lot cleaner. But anyways, again, what we did so far is all we did was open up Aesthetica. And by the way, if you don't want Pro, just go ahead and tap right here. And we just tapped on a theme and hit download and install. And then once we did that, we just waited a little bit. We got the pop-up here in a second. Just be patient. And it should pop. Boom. There it is. All right. So all you got to do is again is it allow. I already did that. So it should be my settings application now. So I'm going to head over to settings and then head over to general again. You guys know the whole deal. Go back down to profiles. We come here a lot. Anyways, yeah, I can see there it is. Modern 6SE. So that's the theme that we just in installed. And now we're going to fully install it. All right. So tap on install on the top right. Passcode. And now tap on next, next or install, install. Uh, I think done. Yes, I got it right. Boom. X out of here. And look at that. We got all these icons just by two clicks, okay? Like two clicks. That's insane. So look at all these app icons that we have. And just show you that these are working. Look at this. First, let me show you a little close up of these icons. These are from iOS 6, I think. And they're absolutely gorgeous. Anyways, App Store. You guys can see. 
it opens just like the regular app store and the stock apps they kind of have a redirect but the third party apps they do work perfectly fine for example gmail watch this boom it opens up just like the regular gmail without any redirects i still have yet to sign in on this device but you actually did open up gmail i don't have i don't have chrome i have calculator okay so boom so again you can just delete all the apps that you do not have on your device and let's go and open up youtube watch this boom just like that it's like the regular app so so cool um netflix i think i have that on my phone or no i don't anymore because it probably offloaded it settings boom you guys can see we're back in settings now we have instagram right there and you guys can see boom loads up instagram follow me on instagram it's in the description i think and anyways let's see we got snapchat yes i do have the application boom it opens up i think you also do have spotify that's the other spotify but yeah boom works right away and the icon is a little bit different on the older one again this is an ios 6 theme so yeah shazam boom look at that it opens like a regular app so it's super cool basically the stock ios apps like phone safari messages they will have a redirect okay so you can see if i open up phone oh wait come back phone you can see it does have that redirect but yeah on other apps that are from the app store like instagram snapchat shazam and all those other apps that are not stock apps those will open just like regular apps because that's just the way it works okay unless we find another workaround for that because i mean it's still cool that we can even do this this is like a jailbroken device without even having a jailbreak who thought we would be able to get themes without a jailbreak just like this this is so so cool let's get some cinematics oh it's levios oh. uh. <laughs> Oh my god, all these app icons are just so iconic and it just brings me back to my childhood. Super nostalgic. I love these icons. They're so beautiful. The newsstand icon, that was so iconic. Because if I open this, it just opens up the news app, which I don't have on my device because I don't really use it. We got Apple Music right there too and Twitter and all these apps just look absolutely amazing. App absolutely but um tss. anyways let's say you don't need any of these icons okay i mean like one of these icons let's say you don't use reminders for example all you gotta do is tap and hold on it and just delete the bookmark okay and by the way you can also enter wiggle mode just tapping on a blank space and holding and this is a lot easier so go and delete apps like that let's say you want to remove the theme completely so to do that all you would have to do is open up settings application i'm gonna go use a themed version boom and then what you have to do is head down over to general let's go all the way down until you find profiles again and again look for that theme that you want to remove boom remove profile and type in a passcode and just like that you're removing the entire app icon library that you just installed off your device look at that it's completely gone just this is two clicks okay it's super easy now you can install another theme so i'm just gonna go back to aesthetica let's go and try another theme as you can see these are the top three themes that have been downloaded from here anyways tap on browse all themes and then you have even more so these are the pro themes which are paid so if you do buy aesthetica pro you do get these pro themes as well but if you scroll down look at all the free ones and they're constantly be added okay there are gonna be more that are added to this so yeah the list will just be constantly expanding this just came out so yeah this is so cool anyways whoa mac os big sur or ios big sur in this case anyways i'm gonna go and tap on it tap on down install i want to see what this one looks like to show you guys okay let's tap on allow and to close and it's my first time gonna be seeing this too so i'm super excited again we're in the same spot so profiles and there's big sur install type your passcode next install and again guys completely safe i would not be showing you guys stuff that is not safe and anyways oh wow okay big sur icons honestly these ones are all right not my cup of tea but look at the instagram icon that looks cool that looks really cool all right snapchat looks pretty cool too in my opinion and mesh just looks really nice it looks kind of like a 3d drop shadow and this looks very glowy i am now gonna try circloid okay down install bap bap oh bap and settings install and whoa look at that theme okay okay i see you 
So this one is very, very simplistic. If you like the simple themes, you will definitely love this one. So I think, I think this was again called Circloid. Let's try a few more. I'm gonna do Dark Light and we're gonna try the pink theme just for the fun of it, okay? So down install and install in, boom. There we go. Whoa, the dark theme, okay. I need to put the app icons in my dock too. But I'm showing you guys what they look like. Okay, this one doesn't have as many icons. All right, now we got the pink theme, okay? So, whoa, that is very pink, but we don't have that many icons again. I'm gonna try Avalon. This is super addicting. It's one more, guys. Okay, and this is Avalon. So, yeah, you can mix and match themes too if you want icons from multiple different themes. You can do that and delete the rest. And so, yeah, multiple themes installed right now. Again, to delete them, I'll head back over to settings and remove it. It's that simple. Look how easy this is, okay? That's so easy. I can't get any more easy than this. And also, if I head back over to Aesthetica, I have all these app icons now. Uh, where's Aesthetica? Huh. Okay, where'd it go? It's okay. Well, let me go back to the settings. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So it looks like I deleted the actual app on accident. Okay. Wow, I'm blind. Okay, since we're reinstalling, let's do the night design. Now you can always get a custom design if you want to. But I'm just gonna do the night one and show you guys this. So I'm reinstalling Aesthetica theme engine. Install done and we are back so this is a dark version and it's gonna be oh wait it's still light anyways let's just change the app icon okay cool now there's more to this if you scroll down you guys can see they're also running an iphone 12 giveaway so this is how you enter the giveaway so it's going to follow that if you want a chance to win an iphone 12 another chance okay and then over here if you scroll down you can also create your own app icon so let's say you want a custom app icon for an icon that the theme did not have so just tap on create your own but anyways let's tap on system applications for example let's just we'll do the calculator one i go and tap right there and i could go ahead and choose a label i go ahead and make it the label empty so it's just blank and does not have a name which is cool gives a more simplistic look anyways you can also choose the app icon right here choose file and you can choose for your photo library take photo and once you are done all you gotta do is tap on build slash create and then tap on install button and hit allow on this install the profile and then you will have the app icon just like that but yeah guys scrolling even further down you can follow the developer on twitter which i do recommend that you guys do to keep up to date with all the themes and stuff being added to this as again this is fairly new actually it's just very new and you will get updates about it over here all right so check this out guys so i also themed my red iphone 12 over here and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. So you guys can see, I installed multiple themes to show you guys how this looks. So boom, there's a pink one right there. There's this simple one with all the all the white. And then over here, I think this one is called Felicity. And I absolutely love Felicity. It has a ton of app icons available. These ones are from Felicity as well. So they both just look absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Tell me not. Okay. We'll get some cinematic shots too. But before we do that, I do want to mention that again, my favorite theme personally is this one right here. The iOS 6 theme that we installed the first one and it's really, really cool. But this one looks absolutely gorgeous too. Wow. They're just so cool. Look at all these themes. Anyways, guys, let's get these cinematic shots rolling. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys.